What's up everyone, it's your girl Lexi, aka Queen, aka Reviewer, aka Lifestyle Vlogger, you know, whatever you want to put me down as, I'm your girl. Now, aka Photographer. <laughs> you didn't know that, did you? <laughs> but, I'm back with Empire. Empire started slacking in 2016. I'll tell you why. <laughs> Guys, Empire, I am the uh, one of the original watchers of Empire. If you came in and saw Empire Fam season four, then you missed out on the first three seasons because Empire finished on season six and it was just this year too. Oh my gosh, when I tell you, they perplexed my brains. They did. <laughs> they truly did. No, honestly, Empire was like literally the best show ever in 2015. They had amazing songs with with Jussie Smollett as cast as Jamal, Bashir Y. Gray as Hakeem. Then they had Trey Byers as Andre. They had Tracy P. Henson, the Queen. Um, they had Terrence Howard, Soraya, then they had uh, Taronda, then they had, oh my gosh, like I can go on and on and on and on and on about the amazing cast of Empire, but what I tell you that they had my brains perplexed, they did. Now imagine, tell me this, imagine that you <laughs> went to a jail for 17 years because you held down a man that literally divorced you in jail and then he got married to somebody else and then kept sleeping around on pe with other people because you were in jail and never visited, visited you maybe five times at least. But yet he also was a homophobic at one point with his kids and you know all that kind of stuff. That's it. That is it, right? So I was like, yo, if a man ever if I ever let myself do that for a man, I'd be the most dumbest person ever. Honestly, no, I'm not thinking about it. That'd be so dumb. That'd be so dumb. I'm not I'm not riding with you when we when we have three kids. No. Hell no. Hell no, my kids come first. What you mean? If you have to go to jail, you can go to jail and I'll get the Empire started. How about that? How about that, huh? Okay, I thought so. So I'm just like, yo, Cookie, you're a real G, aka Taraji P. Henson. <laughs> Terrence Howard's character. Oh my gosh. Lucius Lion. The White. The White, yeah. That's his real name in the show, yeah. He just changed his name so that no one could ever mess with him. Oh yeah, that's real. That's real manly. Real manly. Real manly. You got. You got survive in the hood. But yet, but yet, you always double down to hurt your wife, Cookie, the queen that held you down before you even had anything. Oh, that's smart. That is so smart. The one person that held you down and that left her family, her dad, for you. Oh yeah, that's so smart, Mr. Lucius Lyon. And then you and then you divorce her. I would never come back to you. I don't want my money. My money. A, a part of Empire. I would just want the money. That's it. On some real G shit. I want my mom, my mom, my money. That's it. Give me my house. You're paying for my house. You're paying off my house. Give me my money. And I'll invest in a better company. And I'll outdo yours. How about that? That's how we're gonna roll. Because if you want to do me dirty while I'm in jail taking your, doing your time, then I'm gonna do you dirty too when I'm out. 
I want that. Yeah, see, I'm not a cookie. I will, I will, I will be the most pettiest B I T C H ever. But because y'all have kids, I want to be nice. So Anika, Grace Byers, aka Grace Byers, is Trey Byers' wife. She's so amazing, a great actress. Anika Calhoun. She with Boo Boo Kitty. Oh my gosh. The amount of times we say Boo Boo Kitty on Twitter and the amount of times I've said it outside of the show, bruh. <laughs> my mom, my mom and I'd be like, okay, okay, Boo Boo Kitty. And we'd be it'd be, it'd be our inside joke because we know about Empire and nobody no no one else would understand what we're talking about. It's so funny. Now, there there, there were a lot of death in Empire. A lot a lot of deceased from Rhonda, which is um, Andre's deceased wife and baby mother. But they didn't have a baby, so just sad. Because Anika killed their baby. Yeah, Anika did. Anika so did. Anika so did. Yeah, she did. She wanted their princess to be the princess of empire. Yep. Yeah. And Nika, you were dirty, you were dirty, you were dirty, fam. Like, you turned to a savage in Empire. Now, you guys, Empire was a show where you could be like, oh, so that's the backstory behind uh, how they got Empire up and running, da 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 da. See, they showed you that they were already successful, but they had issues in Empire, in their, in their family. They did. So that's the thing. Now, Jamal, Lord have mercy. Now, the end of season five, there was there was a scandal. Okay, I'm 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 gonna go forward a bit because Empire is six seasons long, and I don't have time to be like navigating through all the seasons. Now, <sighs> Jesse just Jesse Smollett allegedly. <laughs> Is this more allegedly faked or not a homophobic attack, hate crime in Chicago? Was it Chicago? Because comment below, please, because I can't remember that story. Now, I am a person that's like, I need the, the, the facts, I need the evidence, I need, you know, the real deal, like all, not just the one side story, not just the two side story, I need the full details. Cause if you really truly think he did it and you weren't there, shame on you. Because I don't, I don't see anything besides he's telling us what he wants us to hear. And the media portrays it as something very big, which is very big, hate crime in the LGBTQ community is very real and we shouldn't joke about that. We shouldn't even use it as a stunt in the industry to get more views. Now, he got a lot of money in Empire. A lot of money and he, and, he, and he messed it up. He fucked it up. He fucked it up. He did. He truly did. Because in the end, it's like, really, you have your own music you're putting out. Mind you, Fox had a deal where, you, where, where if you are on a show, a musical show, you cannot have any other um, dealings with with your music, you know what I mean? Especially if you put your own music in the show too. Now, I'm like, okay, I get where Fox was coming from with this. I'm just like, but the thing is, he found a loophole in it. So he just like, he got to, you know, have his own music and also do music on the show too, right? So it didn't really, uh, it didn't really hurt his contract on Empire. He was there for five freaking seasons. By the end of season five, he didn't come back on season six. They mentioned Jamal, but he, ne but he, but he wasn't in season six of Empire, the last season. That would have been a good bag for him, a good ass bag. I'm hearing, but I'm hearing though that they want to put out the last two episodes, the last few episodes that they wanted to of Empire. Please comment below if that's true because I don't know because there's some speculation as to you know it's gonna be they're gonna put up the last few episodes of Empire. Um, they're gonna do the filming during the during this time, right? So I'm just like I need I need clarification, right? So when this happened, I was sad and I was angry and I was hurt, but like at the end of the day, you're you're also subjecting to other people's lives in the balance 
because remember they have lives too they have family too and you're you're telling people allegedly literally you're telling people that they they beat you up because they hated that you're homo that you're homosexual and because you're a gay and all that kind of stuff mind you you're so beautiful was a great track so i'm always gonna keep repping it i'm always gonna keep repping it okay so i'm not stopping listening to just um jesse's tracks on empire nope you can't tell me nothing else nothing else because he has some great tracks on that on that okay i thought so i thought so but and then again i have a question also netflix why is an empire on um netflix canada just, just, just asking if star is on netflix then why is an empire on netflix canada if Star is on Netflix Canada, why is an Empire? Please tell me. Please tell me. Because I will love watching Empire. I will love to watch Empire again. Not just on my Cody. Okay. Thank you. Now, Empire was a show where it would show you the success and the issues of everyone in the family. They had their own dealings. They had their own ways of doing things. And yes, they did ride for each other in the end. But there's a certain extent where you can ride for somebody for so long. Now Lucius did them dirty so many times, so many times. He put he he put his own sons against each other to, to rule empire. Now if that isn't a dirty uh, father way and business way of moving things, then sure. Andre could have long time um um controlled empire because he's the oldest. First of all, he took he went to school and learned business for that ish and a uh, a key. Hakeem and and uh, Jamal could have ran it with with um with Andre because they know about the talent and all kind of stuff. So you're telling me that you're gonna put all three boys in charge? Really? Really? It's a big ass company, you know? It's a big ass company. That's all I'm gonna say. But Andre did do his did did his thing, honestly. Even though I loved how Empire touched on bipolarism. It touched on homo homosexuality, sex the LGBTQ community, and it touched on you know you know just a a son looking looking for the love of the the son looking for love with their parent. Now a child, I should say, looking for love with their parent. Now it's just I uh, oh gosh, Hakeem was had very much mommy issues. And because his mom, because he's the youngest, and the one thing I love about Taraji's character, Cookie, that she's just, she's, just, she's just, no bullshit, no bullshit. Oh God, no bullshit. Now, when I tell you that it's just a matter of time before Cookie comes to see Hakeem, it was a matter of time because she went to go see Hakeem, and he showed her no respect, and he got beaten. You see, again, black households, yes, we. I don't care how old you are, we will still beat you. I don't, I don't care if you're 21 years old, I don't care if you're 30 years old, I will beat you. I'll beat you. See, there's a difference between a beating and abuse, okay? Now, beating is just, just a way of showing um, them that they have to respect you. Don't beat them all the time, because in the end of the day, they, they, they'll, they'll go to resent you. That's a matter of fact, yeah. But... If you're abusing them, that's totally different. They could call a cops on you or whatever. But like, the Lion family weren't really the people to call cops on other people. They would take care of their ish themselves. They made a lot of enemies in the political field, in the music industry, in every in any way possible, honestly. And whenever like, it's like Cookie and Lucius could not, cannot stay away from each other. They cannot. Like really, they're toxic toward each other. Like they're only toxic, very toxic. So I'm like, uh, yeah, no, <laughs> nah, just no, mm -mm. no. I'm not doing that. No, mm -mm. that's too that's too toxic for me. Too toxic, too toxic, too toxic. Nope, mm -mm. I can't. No, I I literally could couldn't do a toxic toxic marriage toxic relationship nothing i was in them before but i was like no no more mm -mm. no 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 i honestly thought that you know maybe they they really deserve each other but then lucius kept doing her dirty so many times and didn't 
even take into consideration her feelings and he would out her he would out her on her secrets so many times where she never really did that to him all the time she only did it when it was fair game now especially with her family oh my gosh carol and candace when i say vivica fox You guys are just amazing. You guys are awesome amazing. And I love you guys so much. Like Vivica A. Fox. Vivica A. Vivica A. Fox and Tasha Smith. When the sisters come together, I love those mo I love those moments because it's just like no matter what they've been through, no matter how much they hate each other sometimes, they're always there for each other. And I love that. What Empire really taught me was the basis of family. Family. No matter how much they get on your damn nerves and how much they disrespect to you, you always make sure you respect them too. But with me, ah, you, just, you, you, you give me the disrespect, I'm gonna give you the same energy. Clap back, I clap back, okay? I clap back, okay? Got it, good. Thank you very much. Now, you guys, 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 you guys. Empire was such an amazing show, and I still, like, I, I think that there is going, something going on, going on around the internet talking about how Empire is gonna like show the last episodes that they couldn't film during the pandemic. Let's get my nose itches. Nose itchy. Yeah. So th they said that they would um allegedly film the last episodes of Vogue because the pandemic really hold, halted their production. Thanks a lot, 2020. You gotta go, you gotta, you gotta go. You gotta go. You have to go. Bye-bye. Um, so I'm hoping that's very true. I'm hoping that it's true, but if you love, if you saw Empire and you seen Star, let me know in the comments below and let's talk about it because I wanna talk about who's, who's the favorite character in Empire and star and who's you and also comment below on my star video as well your girl love those shows and again netflix canada why is an empire on netflix canada it's the same network as star i don't get it like honestly so yeah i want you guys to like comment share subscribe and hit the bell five things so when you like this video for more content share with your friends and your family, spam them, WhatsApp, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook if you use it, Snapchat if you use it, spam them and send the links, send the link, send the link. Uh, comment below what you wanna see next, subscribe to my channel, and once you subscribe, there's that little bell right there. You hit the bell so that you notify every time I upload a new video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video, round of react reviews. I love you guys, okay. Remember, take this from the show though. Family always comes first. Doesn't have to be blood, doesn't have to be anything, honestly. It can be your friends, better your family. And even with them, you will fight with them, you will disagree with them, you will agree with them at times, and then you will voice your opinion and they won't like it. You they voice their voice their opinion, they won't like it. But in the end, you guys will always come together and have a common ground. And no matter what, do not disrespect nobody. My advice to you is if someone disrespect this disrespects you, you clap back and, and, and do what you gotta do with them, okay? I'm letting you know from now. From now. From now. Huh? You think I was joking? I wasn't joking at all. I clap back with disrespect. I'll do it. I'll probably do a rant one day. Who knows? But, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe for more videos if you love. Let's, let's chat about Empire and Star Tigular and let's be down in the comments below. I'll do... I will be here in the comments all for the next hour so i love you guys i'll see you guys in the next video peace